Many of the clients that come to me wanting to make a decision already know their answer. They're just too afraid of asking the question. Feeling paralyzed by the fear of failure. What if you make the wrong choice? What if you regret your decision? These are common roadblocks and if you are feeling the same way, you are not alone. You can overcome all of these and I am here today to be your guide. Welcome to today's meditation by Marin of Yes and, to overcome your fear of failure so you can at last make your decision and stand confidently in it. Start by finding a comfortable seat or standing upright. In either case, letting your shoulders drop down your back and feeling whatever part of you is rooted into the earth the firmness, the confidence, the support that is there. Notice your breath. Fill your lungs and cleanse out any of the air that is there currently. Take another large inhale and release it with a sigh out. One last big guided in breath. Fill up all the way to your belly button and exhale, let it go. Take another moment to relax your shoulders, to lift the crown of your head, to let your fingers, your kneecaps, your hips rest easy. And even if you're not feeling in a space of 100% trust and ease, you have permission to adopt my own trust that I send your way. I know so confidently that you are capable of making this decision, of feeling good about it, of following through and moving on with your day, with your life, not in a rushed way, but with certainty, with pride, with calmness, with assurance. If they're not already, close your eyes and imagine the color green a deep forest green with flickers of lime green. Feel as if you're absorbed in this comfortable, comforting, curious place. It feels almost like you're floating on this green. And as you let yourself wander your mind imagine and be creative. Make out what it would feel like to float on a field of grass. As the wind breezes past, the blades of grass somehow hold you up and support you like the flow of a river. And no, you don't know where you're going, but somehow that feels okay. It feels safe. In fact, it feels relieving to not have to know, to not have to force or determine your next step. Instead, you feel yourself surrender onto this flow of grass, into this green wonderland, something your mind can hardly comprehend, something part of you may even think is funny or silly. 
and yet ultimately it feels like such a gift to be here with such ease, to release control, to release perfectionism, to let go of the professional mask of the right way, of the plan. If once, if only for this moment, to trust. Can you let your shoulders relax? Let the muscles in your midsection ease. Your brows unfurrow, your tongue drop from the top of your mouth. Even your inner earlobes feel a little less tense. And as your body releases its grip, so does your mind. So does the idea that you have to get it right. And if you feel yourself clutch back on to the need to be perfect or the need to know where you're going, find within yourself, where is there even a glimmer of trust? Or maybe it's that part of you that is so exhausted from trying to figure it out. So tired that they're willing to release what you know. Willing to surrender for the sake of experiment because maybe this can be easier. Feel the muscles in your neck ease. Your breath feel full and light. And this floating sensation as you're traveling over the blades of grass flows you right to a throne in the woods, a big natural seat that somehow feels like soft cushions as you're gently placed in your rightful place, which you know not because you've created a spreadsheet, but because of how it feels. It feels secure, it feels safe. As you land here, Look over at the blades of grass, the field that you just flowed through, and send gratitude for whatever led you to this comfortable place, to being guided and held instead of having to try and figure it out all by yourself. And know that is always available to you, to be held in some way and to not have to do it alone. And then direct your attention to your feet, where a stool might be in front of this seat in the woods. There's a box, a box that is decorated with gorgeous natural flowers, vines, greenery and red berries and a big label on the front indicates your name this is another gift for you a gift that is rightfully yours without needing to prove anything to anyone without needing to accomplish or do or question your worth. And with that assurance, lean over and pick up this box. Study the outside of the box. Take a big breath. Release any expectation. And as you hold this box before opening it in your lap, 
a name, a person comes to mind, who this box is from. A gift of love, of support, of compassion. A smile draws upon your face and then imagine yourself opening this box. Curiously peeking inside, being open to discover something completely unexpected. Maybe a little funny. Maybe it brings tears to your eyes. Maybe it washes a wave of relief or realization over you. Take out the item or the feeling or the thought, the idea from this box. Set the box aside and hold this gift to your heart. Place your hands over your heart and imagine that gift being there, being now a part of you rather than separate from. And somehow, somehow this all connects. This all connects to your ability to make a decision. This all connects to you being able to trust in your decision. This all connects to releasing control, releasing perfectionism, releasing worry of regret, releasing the need to be right. You can breathe a little easier. You can take deeper breaths. You feel a weight lift from your shoulders you didn't even know was there. And in this vision, you imagine yourself looking around, noticing that when you look for it, you see support and you feel it from the blades of grass, the green comfortable space flowing through the wilderness and being led to this gorgeous comforting throne that is yours. Gifts available to you always like the one you received today. And in this vision you now notice there are gifts lined up for you all around this forest. So many ready for you to pick up and to receive. Little reminders that you can trust yourself, that you're not alone, that you can believe in your decisions, in your nudges, in your direction. And that even if a wrong choice exists, you are even supported then because you are worthy, you are enough, you are capable without needing to be right, without needing to be perfect, just as you are. Extend your arms open literally and in this vision and twirl around sending thanks and gratitude and appreciation and love and comfort knowing that no matter what it is all okay knowing that you are held you are supported you are capable and in allowing yourself to receive these things, you also send out that same support to others around you who need it too. Feel the expansiveness of this new perspective, the ease, the relief, and the acceptance. 
Take a big breath in. If it feels right, lift your arms up a little higher. And exhale, release. And land in a place of trust. One more big breath. Breathe in through your nose. Fill your whole body to your hands and your toes. And exhale. Feeling light and supported and ready enough. Flutter, open your eyes as you're ready. And remember, you are not alone. For more meditations, visit the meditation playlist I have here on my YouTube channel. And if you want even more support, go to the description to find my group and one-on-one -on -one coaching options so you can make your confident decision and feel good about it always. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.